righty. I was just about to praise the Home Depot curbside pickup and it turns out they don't let you pick anything up till 9 a.m. which is weird because I feel like I've done this before but anyways I'm gonna go inside the store and get my stuff so okay okay and we're scoring back to the car Wow. Well, this is a lot of crap to throw away. What's up guys, Colby here with Roadside Showcase. And over two years ago, I stood right here with a lot of optimism and hope for not just the future of this channel, but my life. I'd rented this place and things were looking up, but my life took a different path and I neglected making videos and I'm just here making this as kind of a precursor to what I'm trying to do with not just my life but reviving this YouTube channel because for that six month period where I was making videos for this channel I don't think I've been as happy since when I was doing that and I just want to get back to it and my life's better in a lot of ways and worse in a lot of ways right now it's complicated i'm trying to get out of this place um just trying to get the last couple of things fixed and just put all this behind me put polk county behind me have a fresh start and i'm starting that today by making this video to explain what i'm trying to do I'm always shocked at the amount of people that still are looking to see how I'm doing. I get comments every week of people that were longtime watchers and want to know how I'm doing and when I'm going to make something else. And, you know, I think it's about time. I want to get back to it and I'm going to explain what my plan is here. On Sunday, the 28th of this month, I'm getting on a flight and I'm heading to Salt Lake City. Just me. Just like the good old days, finding new places, exploring, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to be out there for about a week. I'm going to Moab, uh, maybe Zion, maybe Monument Valley if I'm feeling that adventurous. So it's going to be just like the old times, trailblazing the roads, finding roadside attractions, uh, all that good stuff. And the plan for the future because I don't want to get back into the RV thing, at least at the moment, just because I like my job, what I'm doing now, I'm making more money than I ever have in my life. I feel comfortable and I want to try and make that work with what I'm doing. So the plan is to every couple of months, fly out to a destination, cover a whole bunch of stuff and spread that content out over a period of six to eight weeks. And then once it's dried up, either make some stuff here in Florida, which there's still a gold mine here of stuff to dig up, or head out somewhere else. And I don't know how long that's sustainable. Uh, for the first time in my life, I got hardly anything tying me down here. So I figure let's just go for it. Have some fun. I'm, 27 years old and I might not ever get another opportunity to do this so I'm gonna make the most of it anyways so I'm here to fill that hole fill that all these little miscellaneous holes and I've got the paint matched and we're going to go back over it so Let's get that out of the way. Huge chunk off of there. I don't know how that... Okay. So, all these holes have been filled. So, we just gotta wait for this back hole to dry and then we can paint back over it. Okay. Ooh. What a disgusting color. Never like that on these walls. <laughs> but, better than repainting the whole thing.
hopefully this color matches close enough. Well, hopefully when it dries, I mean, I did this color match myself, so and it looked pretty good, but mm, it's still wet, but mm, better than having holes in the wall. So there's a lot more crap in there than I previously anticipated having to move out of there. So I had to get a U-Haul. It's my little Hyundai. Ain't going to cut it. I was thinking, oh, okay, I could probably cram that stuff in there in a couple of trips. I'm trying to take some stuff to the landfill. Nah. We're going to need the big boy to get this job done. So, oh, well. Okay. So, we're... wow, I never thought I'd fill an entire U-Haul. Okay, well, guess that's it. Time to say goodbye. Well, you know, it's always sad when you're leaving a place, especially when you got a lot of memories here like I do, but it's also kind of a sense of relief getting out of here, so. <sighs> Anyways, on to better and, and all that stuff. All right, so now we're on the way to the landfill. Wow. And this, like, backo or whatever came and just crushed everything. I wish I'd got it in on camera. Just crushed everything I just threw in there. It was pretty cool. Twenty dollars to get rid of all that stuff. It was almost two thousand pounds worth of crap. Basically, a ton worth of crap. Oh well, it's gone. Out of my hair. Out of my life. So I can breathe easy. Thanks for tuning in here. Great stuff coming up very soon. I uh, appreciate everybody watching and hanging in there with me so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one